Welcome back to the first 30. It's actually been a couple of weeks since I've recorded anything at all, but tonight we're going to be checking out Signalis, another one on Game Pass that I just don't know anything about. Um, especially at this point, when I started Season 2, I basically made a big list of, uh, of different games that I thought would be interesting to check out. And that was already, like, several months ago. Um, and therefore I put a lot of stuff on the list that at the time I thought looked interesting, and I still think they look interesting, but I, anything I did know about the game at the time, I don't know now, essentially, is, is what I'm getting at here. I do recall, m most of all I know about this is that I think it was pretty highly received. Um, I remember, I think it came out, like, shortly around the time Scorn, it, like, after the, after Scorn did. And, uh, I remember it also being pretty highly received. Now, I have serious complaints with Scorn, uh, enough that are probably gonna make me not finish the game, if I'm being honest. But, uh, I figured I'd check this out anyway. I, I, I and something I did really like about Scorn was checking out a type of genre of game that I just don't typically check out. And I think this is going to be along those lines as well. As per usual, we're going to wait till we actually get in control here before I hit the timer. This one has a PS1 low poly art style, which is very cool. I would, uh, we just checked out that one recently, Lunastis, that also had a similar art style, uh, in, in terms of low poly, that is, that's probably where the similarities end, and, uh, I, I really like seeing games in that, in that style. Um, I think it can still look pretty slick when, when done well. Anyway, it looks like we're in control, so timer me. And, uh, let's, 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 let's see what this is all about. I do anything here this this might not be a good first 30 game if i'm if i'm being real i'm gonna go ahead and say that immediately um i, I feel like this could be the type of game that nope nothing over there oh there is a, a move fast button okay it might be the type of game that like i won't get much done within 30 minutes okay so i can't go that way Door there. There's also a door here. Right away, this is reminding me of Metal Gear. Um, gameplay wise, I guess. Okay. Penrose type vessel field operations manual. So, so the Yusan people's not navy of the Yusan people's navy are low cost space exploration vessels deployed beyond the solar system's edge in the search for planets and moons, fit for habitation or rich in natural resources to support the continuous growth of our great nation. All Penrose vessels are piloted by a just halt scout officer supported by a land survey ship technician replica. This partner system of Gestalt Replica cooperation has proved successful in countless previous scout operations. Mutual control and support allow both the Gestalt officer and the technician replica to perform at their optimal capacity. Once the vessel is catapulted towards the edge of the solar system by an orbital mass driver, the pilot may adjust the course from the flight deck while the replica will take care of the mechanical maintenance of the vessel. So I'm guessing I'm one of these uh, Gestalts. Oh god, there's like so many ways to go already. Oh, there's doors here too. Jeez, okay. Alright, 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 all right. Inspect. Right. The interface reminds me of Metal Gear a lot too. 
So we're going to grant nation to ship technicians aboard the scout vessels of the Penrose program. LSTR type replicas like yourself. Oh, okay. I'm the, I'm the second of the two. Are equipped with a specialized repair logic module and the quickly and easy repair both themselves and important mission equipment. Enter the inventory screen by pressing X. Select the item to repair with left and right. Press A to open the command menu. Select the combine option to enter combine mode. On combine mode, select the second item to repair. Press A again to combine both items. To repair damage to the replica body, select a suitable repair item and simply choose the Use option from the command menu. Sometimes it can be helpful to take a good look at an object from all sides. Select the Inspect option in the command menu to enter Inspect mode. Okay. Okay. We do have a map, which is highly helpful. Okay, so yeah, we basically did everything we can down there. Okay. I guess I should inspect this really quick. Yes. Yeah, I'll pick up some adhesive tape. Why not? Scout vehicle status bar. Critical system failure detected. Unknown planetary surface. Okay, so it's the pilot that's kind of missing in action here. Hard landing on surfaces, damaged critical systems. Surface temperature critically low, wear protective clothing during AVA. Okay. Okay, we'll go down this way. Oops, not what I wanted. My bad. Hmm. Or do I want to go back up to the stern hall? I have, I have no idea. I don't know if I want to go that way yet. Again, I don't think this is going to be a good first 30 episode, but I'm very intrigued. I think this seems very cool. Ships crashed in an icy landscape. Oops, that was me pressing the wrong button. Faded photograph is stuck to the LDAM controls. Yeah, sure. That might be useful. Landing and docking assist monitors of no use to me now. Port controls panel, there's been a critical system failure due to the hard landing. Ship's control panel, judging from the readout, there's no chance it'll ever fly again. Well, I'm glad you're here to translate that, because I did not get that information from looking at that. Starboard controls panel. Of the controls, yeah, controls panel. The controls aren't responding to any, any input. Probably an electrical failure. Ship's control panel. So it's a lost cause. Okay. I think the picture was probably the only thing I needed to get here. Okay. Let's, um, let's go to my inventory. Oh, okay, don't know what any of that is. And I doubt there's any information on tape. Okay, map me. All right, so we've done all those. Now we're just going up straight, I think. 
I don't think there's I don't think I've seen a terminal where I could use that code. My first. Smear diary page. Go from cut cryo. Empty mess hall, I was wondering. Hmm, did I. Was the, Has the pilot been awake a lot longer than I have? Ah, hold on. Probably shouldn't should double check just to make sure we don't. Okay, it's good because I thought it was I thought that lower part was going to the left, not to the right. That could have been a little problematic. just water? What am I looking at? Two pieces of a key snapped in half line inside the cryojack pod. The airlock key. Okay. Okay. So now we need to... I don't know if just duct taping it back together is necessarily going to work, but whatever. Okay. Okay, so I couldn't have done anything done with the airlock yet anyway. Um, I don't think there's... I think that's where we're headed. I wish there was a mini-map. I get lost so easily. suit in the case. There's definitely not one over there. That was a nice little intro. Like I said, I don't know how much we're actually going to be able to get done in like 30 minutes. Probably not a whole lot, but like I, I, I do like what I see. I, I don't know if I would necessarily f play the whole game, though. I, I, I don't know. I'm going to have to see where this where this goes. Okay, we're just, we're just going, I guess. <laughs> 
it's a very it's a very good example of how you do not need like crazy 4k super realistic graphics to create a really nice atmosphere Like this is this is very mysterious. Strange hole leading deep into the ground. There's a faint light glowing in the deep. Crawl into the I mean, where else are we gonna go? Yeah, it's just snow. I don't know how I would do in situations like this. <laughs> like in real life, that is. It's funny from a game perspective, I'm like, just keep it moving. Like, what else are we going to do? Sit and do nothing? Might as well just keep it moving. The national flag. Dark pictures of a coastline and an island. Are they photographs? Ancient looking tome is lying on the table. It feels like it's calling to me. Pick up the king in yellow. Descent message. Should I be writing this down? I'm guessing not. Great holes secretly are digged where Earth's pores ought to suffice. Is this like a Winter Soldier Awakening <laughs> kind of thing? And things have learned to walk that ought to crawl. Is she being corrupted? What the fuck? Her... Remember our promise. Am I going to get in trouble for streaming this? <laughs> Wake up, fatal error. And the controller rumbled very violently when that happened. Okay. That was all a thing. Guess we're we're rebooting. The hell are we? I maybe should have hit pause during all of those cutscenes, but if it's gonna be a bunch of small cutscenes like put together, I don't want to be hitting pause constantly, so. Where am I? Or rather, where were we? I guess is maybe the, the better question. Oh, excuse me. I see you. Welcome to S23 Sierpinski. You've been selected or have elected to be relocated by Aeon to S23. Sierpinski, located on Lang at the frontier of the solar system, S23 is the perfect place for a new beginning. At our prestigious 
redacted vocational school facility you will learn new skills to shape your future as a productive citizen of our wonderful nation here you will learn all about mineral extraction ore refinement and munitions production helping the war effort against the remnants of the empire and of course learning is not just about theory aeon lets you earn your share while practicing your new craft right at the workplace concerned about your family friends and former colleagues ask a protector about your ration ration sharing plan a portion of your ration marks will be sent to a beneficiary of your choice It's a key card with a note taped to the window for the reception. Due to staff shortage, report new arrivals at classroom 4C. <laughs> okay. Alright, I'm locked. Uh, also no access. So, I just noticed that uh, the doors are gray on the map until you, like, approach them. And then it marks them on the map, which which I like. It starts the... Uh... Oh, I guess I can probably unlock this. Is probably where we're going with this. Um... I think in in exploration based games that that can some by sometimes be a concern and I I think it's a reasonable concern that uh if you show too you don't want the map to be too good cuz you don't want it to take the exploration out of things. Well, I don't know what any of that means. Remember the rule of 6 never carry more than 6 items on your person. Private property is a privilege. Keep your pockets empty and your bag light. Why is that a thing? Like, from the lore perspective, it's locked that requires a key. I understand it from a gameplay perspective, but that looks like a corpse. That's good. Okay, I can't go that way. Can go that way. Dead Yule unit. She's in a horrible state. Infected looking bio, com bio components are bulging out of her damaged shell. What happened to her that would cause this? I don't know, but it sounds fucking terrifying. What did I do? Oh. I mean, yeah, that's probably a pretty good idea. God, even the save the save menu is really unsettling. <laughs> service request form F29. Data file service request. Four twenty four. The protector ID of unit filing request. station classroom 4b keeps resetting to the default combination what's the point of the whole radio code broadcasting system if our safe can only be opened with the code in the manual no well, it, it means that i know what the code is or i will keep records protocol everything remember if you didn't write it down it never happened get the right forms from administration and save your files frequently i like that they kind of made saving like there's like it's an in-world system, you know what I mean? Wall safe, because it comes to my attention that at least one worker might be aware of the code broadcasting frequencies for the protector wall safes. Any workers connected to this leak are to be interrogated until the culprit is found. I'm restricting all radio privileges for workers until further notice. Ah, so the red is a safe, safe spot. Okay. Oh dear, this is getting large. Okay, let's go back. That's what she said. Let's go back to uh, this corridor and continue looking around with the corpse. There's another corpse. The dual unit. Why was she abandoned here? That way we cannot go this way, and we cannot go this way. This looks fine. I 
aperture card microfilm viewer. If I had an aperture card, I could view its contents here. Keep that in mind for later. There's something sitting right there, but I can't pick it up for some reason. Okay, I think that's the only thing we came in here for then. There's stuff sitting on that desk, but we can't interact with any of it. Couldn't hurt. Did we really do much? Not really, but I'm definitely the kind of person that's like, well, if I'm if I'm gonna die and have to redo stuff. I'd rather not explore stuff I've already explored. Okay, can't go that way. We can go that way. Cannot go this way. We can go that way and we can't go this way. No running in the hallways. Be fine be mindful of your neighbors. Everyone can hear you run. Okay, that's about to be important for some reason. Okay, we don't we don't know what what this is yet. We need to be able to find a manual of some sort. Okay, so that looks like the only thing in here then. It's just my shadow. Okay. I have to be wary of the timer. Because it's highly likely that that's going to scare the shit out of me if I'm not paying attention to it. An Elster unit. You should leave this place. This facility is lost. Turn back before it's too late. I don't, I don't think that's going to be a thing. Looking for this woman. Have you seen her? I don't know her, but she might be one of the workers. Well, just alt workers were sent to the mine below the facility. If she's still alive, she's probably down there. So that, never mind the fact that we're not like, are you okay? <laughs> are you, are you, like, are you dying? Can, can we help you? Could we potentially save your life? I, like, anyway. there's an access elevator to the mine shaft one level below, but you'll need an administrator's key to use it. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's no... No exchange about whether or not like this person's will be well being. Persons? Robots? I don't I don't know. We didn't fucking ask, so a protector key. Yeah, why not? Magnetic key card for the observation room. That could come in handy. Classroom key required. Okay, so we're just we're I'm gonna go. Um, I'm guessing that's the observation room down here that's locked. I don't really have anywhere else to go at the moment, so I'm really, I'm really kind of put off that we weren't like, are you okay? What happened here? We were just like, where's my girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, fine. If I have to re resave, why not? Again, I don't want to have to do it again if I can help it. I've definitely been in positions like that before where I'm like, yeah, I don't need to save. And then I die and I'm like, oh, I didn't save. I haven't saved for like 20 minutes. Shit. Let's go. Oh, is that a fan? I mean, it seems like it's going to be important. Yeah, I'll pick that up. Your card? Sure. 
Type 75 pistol user manual. Short recoil operated locked breech semi automatic pistol chambered in 10 by 20 millimeter. It's reliable, versatile handgun, a standard issue sidearm for Aeon protective controller staff. Replica users remember to first equip the Type 75 pistol on the inventory screen to designate the pistol as your primary weapon for the targeting module. To deploy the weapon, hold LT to disengage the safety and enter targeting mode, while in targeting mode, RT and A will both fire the weapon. RB will initiate a reload. Remember, do not waste ammunition, for it is a resource of the nation. When a target is down, try to finish it off by kicking or hitting it with a baton to preserve ammunition. Got it. And that's the following by order of Aeon due to recent events in accordance with the new Aeon Public Interest Media Regulation. The term which is currently used in various Aeon facilities is no longer permissible must no longer be used. Premises and departments that are currently using the term are to be immediately renamed. Management personnel shall black out the term from all signage and documents until replacement terminology is announced by Aeon. Immediate effect usage of the term in con conversation and correspondence is an offense to be punished with two cycles of double work shift. May not be easy, but we all have to do our part here. Always remember our language shapes our world. A perfect world requires a perfect language. Curious. And then what's this? No, I don't, what's the cable? Can I, can I do anything with that? I guess not. I can only, like, I can only read the paper and close the drawer. Can't do anything with, like, the computer or anything, huh? Okay. All right, well, now we can take the card back up to that reader. We're probably not going to have enough time to even get up there, though. I should probably equip my weapon. <laughs> yeah, I saw you twitching. Oh god, aiming is strange. How do I kick it? Like that? Okay. That wasn't too bad. Okay, so you hit you go into aiming and left stick strafes and right stick aims. But it doesn't it it's Whichever direction you're pointing in, that's the part I wasn't really expecting. Also, timer in, like, five seconds. Hi there. There it is. Oh, hello. You don't belong here either, do you? I'm I... Uh, Isa? Isa Itao? Should be careful, there's something wrong with this place. I don't know what happened, but it's probably dangerous to go any further. It's okay, I understand. I have something I need to do, too. Take care, I hope you find who you're looking for. What's this note? Erica, if you find this note, despite everything that's happened, I've come to look for you. All right, in the interest of if I actually want to continue playing this game, we're going to keep going for another... I'm basically going to do the reading thing here and then go to the save point. Ah, oh, it's the manual for the wall save. High density. Craft stall door secured with a new merit keypad. Probably blah, 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 blah. blah. To the code using the keypad, press the confirm key in the lower right corner. If correct, the light green. A green light will light up. Rotate the dial on the left to open the door. To clear any previously entered digits, press the E key in the lower left. First, enter the factory default code 204512 to open the safe. While the door is open, enter the desired new code in the keypad. Press and hold the confirm key for 10 seconds until the green light lights up. I mean, none of that needs to be done. We just need to know what the, orig what the original code is. Um, I'm going to grab, like, a notepad file and jot that down really quick. Um, I don't know if I'm going to continue playing this game. I, I'm, I'm digging it. I think it's pretty neat. I guess I'm hesitant 
just due to the scorn experience, if I'm being honest, where, like, I had a good time, but then eventually the game started to get kind of frustrating. Now, a lot of why that got frustrating was because the checkpoint system wasn't very good, and in this particular instance, the, I'm in full control of the checkpoints, so maybe that won't frustrate me too much? I don't know. I mean, I, I'm... It's gonna be a I'll think about it kind of thing, I think. Because I, I, I am liking what I'm seeing. I think, again, I think this is a great example of why you don't need super realistic 4K graphics to set an incredible tone and atmosphere. Uh, this is this is all very mysterious and intriguing. I guess I'm curious just how like scary it gets. It, it, it hasn't really been. I wouldn't say it's been scary so far. But it's been very interesting. For now, I'm gonna go continue. Recording some episodes of the first 30, and yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe, maybe I'll come back to this. Shoutouts to Quick Resume, because I'll just be able to close it and not have to worry about, like... It'll just... Well, I'll just pick up right here. But anyway, thank you for watching. I had a great time, so I hope you did as well. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. It does help out a lot. Keep an eye out for future episodes of the first 30. We have two more episodes in this season, I believe. And uh, there's... Mm, Actually, a couple of the games I was go I was going to do got removed from Game Pass, so I think I have like just enough to finish the season. So I I, I, do I don't think I'm gonna go I'm gonna do extra episodes or anything like that. But um, yeah, there'll be a next one. There there'll, there'll be another one airing next week. Then, so I hope to see you there as well. Thank you again for watching. Once again, take it easy, and I hope to see you again soon.